The other thing that happens is the brothers, having sold him, decide that we still need to deal with dad. And so they dip the boy's coat in the blood of a goat, and they go back to their father, and what do they say? Look at this coat, whose is it? Jacob looks at the coat and says, a wild beast must have destroyed my son. All the brothers do is come back with the bloody coat and say, identify this. From there, Jacob goes off on automatic pilot. What's going on here is when a shepherd or a herdsman is entrusted with the livestock of somebody else, and a beast tears the livestock. If the shepherd or herdsman brings back the bloody animal that has obviously been torn by a wild beast, whose responsibility is the animal? The owner's. If he cannot produce the corpse, whose responsibility is it? The shepherd's. So the brothers then, in that sense, are responsible for their younger brother. So they bring back his bloody coat by way of saying, here's the corpse torn by an animal we are not responsible. You bear the loss.